TA Tech tip will discuss a pending ITC data. This includes the actual experimental technique as well as the data analysis associated with this process. Upon the addition of a full syringe full of titrant into titrand, and the data has not gone to completion, meaning that the last few injections are not just a heat of dilution, the burette handle can be removed and the titration syringe containing the titrant can be refilled. It's refilled, loaded back into the burette handle, quickly wiped, and then placed back into the instrument. Now a second syringe full of the entire syringe of titrant into titrand is delivered. At the end of this experiment, the two sets of data are appended and then analyzed as one set of data in NanoAnalyze. Appending two sets of ITC data can be accomplished by exporting the raw data, appending externally, and then importing the data back into NanoAnalyze for analysis. The first step is to open the necessary files. This includes ligand into macromolecule, and then the second file, the ligand into macromolecule, the second injection. What this means is the titration syringe has been refilled, and then that second aliquot has been delivered into the cell of the instrument. The other file to include is the ligand into buffer, or the background file that will be used. First click on the data tab, and then from here, right click in the gray area, and choose to copy all cells. These can then be pasted into Excel. The same process after copying and pasting into Excel will be done for the second syringe full. After I've pasted both sets of raw data into the spreadsheet program, I can now append the sets. To do this, I'll take the second set, or the second syringe full of data, and then drag my cursor down, and what I'm going to do is just copy and paste, just a control C, control V function here. I do have the option of working in calories or joules, and I'm choosing to work in SI units in joules. The other column is the calorie option, and I can import with, with either unit. And now what I'm going to do is just paste this on after the last data for the first syringe full, and then just expand the time. But not just the last set of time, what I want to do is take the last number. So I'll take this last number that was recorded in the first syringe full, and then add one second, because that was my data interval collection, and expand the file make sure that everything copied down correctly, and it did. And I can choose to save this file as a tab text delimited. After saving my spreadsheet in a text tab delimited form, I can go ahead and import it into NanoAnalyze. This is done by clicking on File, and then choose Import Text File, and there's the text file that I saved. Choose Open, and from here I'm going to be brought through a wizard. So I'll bring the wizard over. My delimiter was tab, I brought in raw ITC data, the units were microjoule per second, and I just drag and drop these different analysis column names onto my data down below. And I'll start data import at row 2 where my numbers start, and then I always like to scroll down to make sure everything's imported in correctly. And the last thing I need to do is the exotherm pre-import we kept everything as a exotherm up, and now choose import. Now we have the appended text file into NanoAnalyze. We can click on it and choose analysis. After I've added in the necessary concentration, cell concentrations, and temperature, I can also make inline changes to any injection volumes, for example if the first injection was smaller. For this case, all the injections were identical, so I can move on to the modeling tab. From here we can see how the data came together, and then fit it. 